CEO Ronald from Creating a Difference. I want to talk to you about how you can take a true cut by CTD thousand grit pad and get that to be on a bowling ball. We actually have the ability to check the scan here. So we have a bowling ball that's been freshly scanned at 3444. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to spray a little bit of So Fresh and So Clean on the true cut by CTD pad. We're going to take the bowling ball off and we're going to begin to sand this bowling ball. You're going to see circular motions. Start at the top, work your way to the side but you're only going to do half the bowling ball. The reason why we're doing half the bowling ball is because that way you have the best chance to give a nice, even, consistent finish. Now, the benefit of using So Fresh and So Clean is that it actually will, it actually will absorb into the bowling ball. It's got tachifiers in it. Those tachifiers actually help to extend the life of your bowling ball and allow you to be able to get a tacky feeling that's gonna last three to five games. So this is kind of like a double dose of performance, if you will. One case with the So Fresh and So Clean, you're gonna be able to extend the life of your bowling ball by adding those tachifiers to your bowling ball. And then from a surface standpoint, that True Cut by CTD 1000 grit is gonna put a 1000 grit surface on your bowling ball. And that's really the big key. Most of the time, pads say a specific number, but they may not put that number on the actual bowling ball. True Cut by CTD, whatever the grit number is on the pad is what it's gonna put on the bowling ball. You're gonna be able to clean the bowling ball off with a little bit of purple stuff just to get the dust off. You're gonna flip it over to the other side. And look, this is what I'm talking about. You can see the pad, the pad looks clean. That's because the dirt actually goes into the pad. Because it goes into the pad, that allows the cutting agent to continue to cut. And that's the power of True Cut by CTD. We're gonna let the air dry just a little bit. We'll put the bowling ball uh, back on the laser scanner that scans it about 38,000 times. And then we'll be able to get you a number so you can see what grit this bowling ball now is at. So we give a little spin. And then we kind of come over so we can actually see what the grit number is. And this now is measuring at 986. Okay, we're gonna spin it just a little bit more. We're gonna get a, a little different variation. All right, it's a little bit. We're gonna scan it again. And you can see we are really, 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 really close. Uh, essentially, we're at 1,000 grit. You know, it's kind of cool because you're gonna have a little bit of variation just from logos. There we go, 1077. So that right there is just showing you exactly how you can get a thousand grit surface using a true cut by CTD pad. For more information, check out ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Creating the Difference. Have a great day.